Abraham Lincoln's grave robbers. Take one. Ah, nothing like playing a nice, good game of Fortnite Battle Royale. AJ. Yes, Papa. Get off Fortnite and do your summer reading. Okay. What well, time to read because my dad um, forced me to. Whoa. Hmm, well that's interesting. Wow. This book is actually pretty good. Ben Boyd is amazing. I have finished Abraham Lincoln's Grave Robbers, and it was a great book. There were so many great characters, like James Canale, Ben Boyd, Terrence Mullen, Louis Swaggles, Officer Tyrell, and Jack Hughes, and it was just great. I am going to share with you my report on this The team book. that stole Abraham Lincoln's grave was a very interesting team. They had people like Terrence Mullen, Jack Hughes, and James Canale behind the whole entire case. It is amazing that Terrence Mullen was able to be a bartender and secretly sell counterfeit money and distribute it all around the Chicago. The team that stole Abraham Lincoln's grave was a very interesting team. They had people like Terrence Mullen, Jack Hughes, and James Canale behind the whole entire case. It is amazing that Terrence Mullen was able to be a bartender and secretly sell counterfeit money and distribute it all around Chicago. Another amazing character was Jack Hughes. He was usually a regular con man in the streets of Chicago, but he decided to help because the business was running low because Ben Boyd was in jail. Ben Boyd was a really well-known person who made counterfeit bills. He made them to the highest quality. And when he got caught by Officer Tyrell, the business went down. So James Canale, one of his business partners, decided to... Ben Boyd was a really well-known person who made counterfeit bills. He made them to the highest quality. And when he got caught by Officer Tyrell, the business went down. So James Canale, one of his business partners, decided to get him free. James Canale was one of Ben Boyd's business partners and that he officer Tyrell was the cop behind the whole entire case and that he needed some more information to stop the whole entire crew from stealing Abraham Lincoln's body so he hired a roper called Louis Swegless and he went to find more information undercover while helping the night case. when Abraham Lincoln's grave was going to be taken officer Tyrell decided to hide and wait for the enemies so they can get solid proof of them trying to steal Abraham Lincoln's grave. Terrence Mullen and Jack Hughes decided to go back to Chicago so they can live their regular lives as normal people and act like nothing. This obviously led to a court case where Terrence Mullen and Jack Hughes almost won, but they lost, resulting in jail time and Ben Boyd not being Officer released. Tyrell was too anxious so they can wait to get more evidence of them stealing Abraham Lincoln's grave, so he decided to bust into the bar that Terrence Mullen worked in and bust them quickly. Before now in the present, we can easily identify what a fake dollar bill looks like, but thanks to Officer Tyrell and all the other officers back in the 1800s, they got the job done for us before the story it was too late. was based on a true story back in 1876 when Abraham Lincoln's grave was going to get I recommend off. this book to any of my classmates that are interested in reading a different book. It was a great book. And it was amazing. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you had a cringe. <laughs>